Hello friends, uh, this is Joseph again. Today I am creating a demo of my fitness app uh, project that I built over the last two weeks. For the course of this app, and I, to be completely transparent, no, I unfortunately did not get it finished. I uh, ran into quite a number of hiccups getting it started. Apparently, it seems like Android is going through, or at least Kotlin is going through a massive change that has a number of core features like uh, text input in beta, which is a little interesting to learn, but I still overcame a lot of it and figured a reasonable amount out. Uh, this will be the first project I go back to after uh, I complete my initial uh, six plan sprints. The, uh, the goal of this app is to serve as a reminder for workouts you plan to do each day. Uh, you can create custom exercises um, within it by creating a workout and placing your exercises within it. At least that's the end goal. And while this is not yet at an area where I would be using it, I uh, will very much be getting there soon. Just it'll probably be end of December, beginning of January, when I go back to this one based on current plan. Uh, for this, I ended up learning a whole lot that nobody seems to teach you. It took a whole lot to figure this out. To use Kotlin, or to use uh, Jetpack Compose in, within Android Studio, you need to take this and turn it to 34. Um, and to get it to compile properly and go from there. The code my, oh, there we go. is very simple, at least right now. Um, I created two data structures. One is referenced in the other, uh, specifically the exercise and you can create all of these are optional except for the name because any exercise could be any element could be left out when creating an exercise so I left them all as optional when creating it and the name of each workout will be a will be used and will be included in all all of them because that's how you're going to reference it from there created a surface filled that to the max size of the screen and uh, used just the standard background uh, for the color scheme uh, based on the phone's uh, text added a button. This one does not have functionality to it uh, yet. And I don't know which one I like better, whether I uh, whether it's the uh, top or the bottom. I'm still kind of debating on that one. And put a, this puts the label on it. And uh, from there, this button does work. When I click create workout, it goes, brings me in here, and then I can go and add my text to it, whether on the keyboard or on the simulated keyboard, either way works the same. And when you hit save, that's a post to add the workout to your um, workout list, but for whatever reason, I wasn't able to figure that one out. This closes down, and I just ran out of time and felt that it was more valuable to just keep on with schedule rather than to continue 
uh, working the workout function for here. This starts off by using a, uh, creating a value of a mutable state. Take this just fills in uh, as nothing for the default argument, wants a string and allows an optional exercise that has to be there because exercise is part of the workout data structure. The remember helps to remember the data, carries it through. This creates the new screen, align, centers the screen from there, adds this part here allows for the default text to be put in there, which I just set as nothing because I felt it too annoying to have to delete out the text first. And then this allows for, is part of what allows for you to be able to enter the text in and then this gives the label that you see uh, above the uh, text field that says what it's for. I was planning on doing a uh, um, description, but decided to leave that out for lack of time. This gives a default value to the text and or sets a default text value and through the mutable state up here along with focus requester allows you to be able to type in and enter data in uh, the this text here is what actually makes the change it first gets assigned to new value. Uh, this is a Lambda function, uh, by the way, and uh, that returns uh, the default text, uh, that returns the new value and assigns it to the default text value. Uh, and uh, from this right here, these modifiers align it centrally, add 16 uh, dots of uh, padding around it and helps to keep the focus in here to allow you to enter the text. And again, this also helps to get the text entered in. And then for whatever reason, I don't know why this closes out, but this is supposed to uh, go when you click the save button, assigns the value currently into default text over to the uh, data structure and then adds the workout to the um, list, which that might be part of my problem. Which I am going to test live. And out dot and oh okay that is not it so I will leave that as is and this has yeah, I really want to get this fixed, but I'm not going to let myself get distracted from my plan. So, and starting next week, my plan is to move into cloud databases specifically. I will be trying to make a personal finance manager uh, app. Hopefully it's going to be a graphical app similar to this. I learned a lot through this process and I plan to carry it through and move forward. And I'm gonna be a lot more strategic about my learning in the future. Thank you very much and I'll see you in a couple of weeks.